when you're in that society, you're governed by time and you're being controlled, you are slaves to society, I totally. guess. Cool, I'm looking at that broom. Uh, yeah, so that's if we again, run out of petrol. That <coughs> well, my normal Monday morning saying to people was soon be Friday. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're meeting up with Billy and Steve, otherwise known as Non Lost Souls, and they're living full time in the van. They've done an absolutely incredible job on the conversion, so definitely stick around for the full tour. Let us know in the comments what you think of the video, and if you want to support what we do here, make sure you give us a like and a sub. Back to it. So I'm Billy, and this is Steve, and we are otherwise known as the Non Lost Souls and uh, we converted Luna and started travelling. But we were um, what you would call weekend warriors. Weekend warriors before. So we did, as soon as we got the van, we threw a mattress in the back and we just went out and explored in there because we did a lot of wild camping before. So it was a natural process, wasn't it, yeah. to go and do it? Yeah, and we went from that and we knew we were going to live in it full time eventually. So, so previously, what we our previous lives, we. We met about 20 years ago and mm. we were friends for years and then a couple of years back we met up again and had coffee and fell, the in, love. fell in love and the relationship grew and uh, yeah and then so we spent a, a, probably a good year or so just doing wild camping going off as often as we could because we found that we had a lot in common and wanting to do that explore and not just be you know work 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 and Tired, Saturday and Sunday, just knackered, ready for next Monday. I think a lot of people today, they say they're happy, but they're actually deep down inside. If they're really honest with themselves, they're not. They're not, because we are trapped in a society that controls us. And living this life is so, it's freedom, isn't well, it? Well, my normal Monday morning saying to people was, soon be Friday. Yeah, it was. You know, and it's yeah. kind of like, and then Friday comes, before you know it, it's that downer of a Sunday afternoon where you're preparing for the next week yeah. of hell and that's what it's like yeah. but um you're being governed by time when you're in that society you're governed by time and you're being controlled you are slaves to society i totally. guess and so your time's not yours it belongs to somebody else but you're not getting the benefit of that time they're getting you know you're working for somebody they're getting the money for it you're just getting a little bit and you're struggling to survive all the time and this way of life, you don't need a lot. We don't want a lot. We just want to live a simple, humble life. So yeah, and we haven't got a lot of savings or anything like that. We we didn't have anything to sell it really. No houses or anything like to sell. No vast amounts of money. And we just, you know, go ahead, stay. When we're in a way, we can not really spend anything. Just saved every single penny we could. And then obviously the van on a budget, so we wouldn't spend loads of money. And, and we kind uh, of just went, if we don't, because we're, we're getting older and it was just like, if we don't do this now, when do you do it? So it was kind of like, we have to just jump into the abyss. Yeah. How much is just enough jump. money? How, when do you stop yeah. saving? You've got to just do it. If you're in a house and things like that, you still have bills to pay. Mm -hmm. So every bit of money is going, what you're earning is going out on these bills. Something can break, so you've got to fix it. And you, Billy had a car, I had a car. So both of them needed OTs yeah. and probably work done. And so what, what you're saving is going out all the time. So you'll never really get into the point where you could have enough money. So we just went, we're going in October. Yeah. Sod it. And that's it. it. We're going in October. Yeah. Whatever money we got, cool. That's what it is. What we haven't got, hey ho. So this is uh, our van Luna. She's a Volkswagen LT35. All right, guys, so it wouldn't be possible to continue creating these videos if it wasn't for our paid partners. And in this video, that's BetterHelp. So BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service. They provide professional, personalised therapy, all in an online format. So I haven't actually done therapy before, but it's definitely something that I am interested in, as I feel like it's important to talk about how I actually feel and to talk about certain situations in the past that still affect me to this day. And I don't feel like I've got people around me that I would actually feel comfortable talking to about personal situations. So I'd choose better help because I'd actually feel more comfortable speaking to someone who I don't know and who isn't involved in my personal life. I also like the idea of using better help because it gives me access to choose between a broader range of therapists online that I wouldn't have access to locally. So in recent times, like a lot of people, I went through a bit of a rough patch a couple of years back. 
And at the time, I did try different options to turn things around, including speaking to people in my circle, family and things. But I found that I probably wasn't sharing with them the full extent of everything that was going on. I think if I'd have known about BetterHelp at that time, it would have been a good idea to reach out to a professional and I'd have been able to share things with them which I might not necessarily have felt comfortable with sharing with family or friends. So if you're struggling right now, then let BetterHelp find you a therapist who can support you or from the comfort of your own home. So visit betterhelp.com forward slash liberation or choose liberation at sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. Back to it. So this is uh, our van Luna. She's a Volkswagen LT35 2004. Long wheelbase, high top on the roof. She's got 200 watts of solar and we've got our roof vents and things like that. She was white, hence why she's called Luna. And then obviously when we painted her green, we named her Luna the Green Goddess. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we love the color, it's stealthy. Yeah, yeah. It's NATO green is yeah. the color. So yeah, so on the, on the roof, we've got 200 watts of solar. We've got air vent at the front and we've got just a, a roof light window at the back. So we can look out, because that's what we like to do a lot of. Yeah, going around, got nice dents. Yeah, so this is the back doors. These are our portal windows, which are again, very really good for sort of spying out of. <laughs> yeah. They open inward so we can open. So when we're inside, we can look out and stuff like that. So just inside we've got our sort of pews which I made and our seats we have a nice storage area. We've got tools on that side and this is where all the bedding goes in this side. These doors or this one doesn't want to say open but these doors <laughs> are open quite a lot and we just sort of sit there and just admire the yeah, scenery just around. Take it in or at the side. Or we sit on the side door and yeah. look out at the scenery. But we like portals because they're kind of little discreet. Yeah. And then we've got the raven on them to make it more our mark. Yeah. Yeah so this is our side window which opens one of the side windows. This is above the kitchen area. And then we have our thing for electric cooker. So we can, if we have to, go and charge up a battery. Fully off grid. Um, we've used electric cooker once just to charge up batteries because we haven't got lithium or anything. We've got just lead acid batteries at the moment, 330 yeah. amp hour. And they've taken a bit of battery in obviously because we haven't got any solar coming in this time of year. But come summertime, springtime, summertime when the weather's better, we don't do campsites. We don't pay to park anywhere if we can. <laughs> if we can, We yeah. don't like paying to park. <laughs> yeah. We try and park in somewhere like this all the time. Not some, probably as popular as this, where the parking bays are. We'd probably be maybe down the further road where it's just, just down, there's, just down the road there's a, a river with like a little parking next to the bridge. Mm -hmm. And we'd probably park in there more than here. Yeah, views yeah, like this is what draws us. A, a majority of the time it is hidden off the road in like a little wooden cove sort of area, just. Out of sight, just, out of mind. Yeah, out of sight. We like to be out of sight just because we just like that peacefulness of it. So, but you know, we'll do street parking if we have to. Yeah, we'll go wherever we have to. I mean, yeah. again, it's not all, sunsets and unicorns and whatever rainbows yeah. it's you know sometimes you have to go in the industrial state or on stealth mode in the street back street somewhere yeah you'll do what you gotta <laughs> do but majority of the time it's it is, gonna yeah. be something yeah. like backdrops like this yeah. it's not right for everybody but for us it's it's the best thing all that stress that you carry with you the bills that are coming in and getting up in the morning to go to a work that you can't bloody stand really yeah it's gone yeah it's, it's all gone. gone just blown away and, and i find that you're not living in the moment that now moment whereas now i wake up and i'm living in this moment right here i'm living this moment i'm not thinking about what i'm gonna have for tea i'm not thinking about tomorrow or next week or next year i'm thinking about now and then that's how i get to appreciate my life so much more and realize i am so humbledly blessed and so lucky, really, to live this sort of lifestyle. And again, with the actual being in work, like I said, you're wishing Monday to come, Saturday, and you're looking forward to that holiday you spent God knows how many thousand yeah. from in like three months' time, and you're just literally wishing life away. You are. You know, you're not living life, you're not living now, you're not sort of seeing like mountains and amazing things. You're just good. I've got to work, I've got to do this, I've got to be able to pay. I've got this holiday in March, everything will be lovely. Yeah. And then that week goes and you're back to it till next holiday. So we, when we bought Luna, she was a plain white uh, works van and she cost us £2,400 to buy. We spent probably, in total, we think it's just over sort of 7000 doing it all out. But that £7,000, that's including the price of Luna, is that? And that's over, uh, just over a year of building the van. 
can be tough, especially in the winter, it can be tough. Some probably love the just living in a house, a big house, and having all the fine of things, and nice cars, a big house, and all things, yeah. and having a one all day, yeah. Some but people are they might really love that. Happy? But are they really generally, because yeah. they've still got bills to pay, and they still go, oh, this is gone, so I've got to pay this out, and I've got to pay that out. Are they generally inside happy? They might well be, but that's, you know. I think, if you, <laughs> I think a majority of people, and we have loads of people say to us, God, you're so lucky. I wish I could do that. Do it then. Do yeah. it. There's no you, don't, you, don't need, you don't need a lot and, it, and you, you make it work. It's not an option. You want to live this life, then you make it work. And we've said, isn't it? there's no way we're going back to that lifestyle again. We will make this work. We make crafty, witchy stuff. So in that I had before we did this anyway. So we've got that little income that comes in. And you can get a job anywhere. You can go work on a farmer's land. You could go work in a bar. You, you know, they, we, we do have to work now and again, but it's not, it's when we choose to. And we're very frugal, aren't we? And but we were living before. Within, but it's living within your means. Yeah. And, you know, what money we've got is what we've got. Yeah. You don't need much. You just mm -hmm. need somewhere to sleep at night, somewhere warm, somewhere, and to eat. I think yeah. some of the snobbery within van life where you get some of the harassment, we haven't had any, luckily. No. But never. where you get the people beeping their horns and things like that. That could be because a form of jealousy. You know, people always look at it as a bad thing. They're just kind of like, oh, look at them scrounging off the government and do it. And I've got to go work every day to fund that. And because yeah. they don't really understand the whole thing behind it. You know, we, we don't take off anybody. You know, no. anything we have is our own earnings from Reverend. our shop or yeah. anything like that. You know, we don't beg, we don't take off government, you know. And we have to pay our way just like everyone else. We have to pay the vehicle tax insurance. like. Like said, and but we do, and we're respectful wherever we park at because, you know, this is our home. What would you say your favourite thing and least favourite thing about living this way is? Oh. Oh, all the time with Billy. <laughs> it's true. I don't have to miss Billy when I go to work. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. you know, we get, we, <laughs> we no, do love the fact. <laughs> we love the fact that we're no, together 24-7, you know. We it's amazing. poop in front of each other. You know, they, that that's an intimacy in itself. You know, yeah. we we've always been close. Haven't yeah, we? like I said, it's that time we get spent together all the time. We get to see the world through each other's eyes properly. You know, to say there's anything I dislike about it, I can't honestly say anything to dislike about it. I think yeah. the only thing that I think I get a bit narky about it is. Like you, you find these beautiful park ups and there's massive signs saying no overnight parking. You're like, why? No one's here. I'm not. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Why? But you respect it. You move on. I think that's the thing. Going back of what a lot of people do with van life thing, because they see all the Facebook and Instagram looking at lovely sunset with our back doors and our feet dangling out the back door. They see all these lovely shots and go, how amazing it is. And when you come out and go, oh, actually, it's really cold tonight and. You know, I've got no signal on my phone, and we've got this, and we haven't got that. Yeah, because you've kind still of... got to find water. So you, you're always constantly watching what solar you've got. Um, you it's an have obsession. The diesel on tonight. Have we got enough gas for cooking? So you are kind of governed by things like that. But and and it can be quite cold. And like going out for a walk, and it's wet, and you're coming in. You haven't always got the space to dry your, your wet coat or. The dog's wet and he's a bit smelly and he's angry because he won't let you wash him. <laughs> but and I tell you what, I will say to people who do want to do this: buy an umbrella. No, <laughs> is buy that van. It doesn't have to. It can be cheap as anything. Buy that van and, and throw whatever you need into that van and fucking do it. You don't need. You don't need the fancy van. You don't need it. Your mattress. You need a cooking stove and you need somewhere to go to the toilet. A bucket and you need water, that's it. Go and do it. You don't need a lot of money to do it as long as you've got your insurance and everything, just do it. All right, so this is the inside of the van at the back. This is the inside of the van at the back. <laughs> this is our home. This is our home. It's that's quite rustic, isn't, isn't it? it? It's just kind yeah. of what um, came about really. A lot of it's all recycled, majority of it. Like old copper recycled. pipes and bits and pieces of that. And this was made out of pallets that we got from work. Uh, old set of drawers we had. This is um, 
just one of your red cupboards, which has got full of like gadgets, iPads and uh, drones yeah. and things. And then along here, we've got the, like, a few the books, book a few other bits and pieces, knickknacks in there, and a few other bits and pieces and plants. <clears throat> and on this side, we have, this is like our medicine cabinet and bits and pieces. And again, some more books and um, some of my working some stuff. Some of working stuff there. for that. And then we've got a light switch here, which goes for the under cupboard and uh, yeah. left that on. Bro. Oh yeah. That kept from the house. So this so, is kept from the house. Yeah, and matches the lamp. So we had to, we knew kind of like a gypsy wagon sort of feel. Um, and above our head, we've got our um, roof vent. So this side you got the fly net, and this side you got the blackout. It opens up. We yeah, spend a lot, spend of, time a lot of time stood up there looking out. I say if we're laying in bed, our head, the bed today. our head is normally this end when we're in bed, so that's where we kind of look up at stars and stargaze. Yeah. So for the bed area, this is um, obviously a seating area and day on our table, um, which then would fold down to be our bed. For us, it's worked out a good plan because yeah. you know we have places where we can do our craft, we have places where we can eat our like meals properly, yeah. and it gives us if it, if it's a miserable weather then we got that place where we've got a bit extra room because we're trapped indoors. Mm. And if you have a fixed bed, more than likely, you have like a chair across here or a chair down there. So you're losing storage space down there. Like this comes down and in the sun, we've got the doors open. You can just walk straight through and straight out the back. Cool, I'm looking at that broom. Uh, yeah. So that's um, if we again, run out of petrol. That was <laughs> never <laughs> That's another thing that, uh, again, came from the house and, and I knew it had to come in here. And then we have these cushions here, <laughs> which match in with all the other stuff, which also, because they're part, oh, of, part of a leftover <laughs> mattress, which we decided that can go into our windows at night. Yeah. So it also insulates it and makes it black out. But it's got dual really? purpose. I love dual yeah. purpose. Anything that's got like more than one thing you can use it for, I love oh, that. Oh, it's like these. I mean, yeah, these are dual purpose. It's these aren't cushions. In. These have got clothes and jumpers and blankets yeah. in. So the sink was a uh, jam pan we got on Facebook Market. The tap, with that, you just press a button and water's on. Yeah. Water's off. But we've got a wicked heating system as well. Yeah, we don't we don't have hot water system as some fans might have or anything like that. What we do have is a flask. So every morning we make our cup of coffee. We fill it up with two and a half litres of water every morning. I have two coffees each, and then we have fill this up, and that lasts us a day with hot water. Yeah. So then we can have more up. coffee. We can do our washing up. We can wash ourselves. Do all that. With yeah. That. Brilliant. And it stays warm for like thirty hours yeah. apparently. So we've got um, three hundred amp hours of battery under the dry, um, passenger seat. So that powers all of our electric. We also have um, EcoFlow in the cupboard, mm. which powers our 240 side of it. In the summertime, we just use the lead acid batteries, leisure batteries, which go into an inverter and that powers our 240. Because we do have a 240 fridge freezer as well. Yeah. A domestic house fridge freezer. So the kettle, again, that was a Facebook market, I think 20 pounds. And then we got the oven, was free, that came out of a camper van, we went to get it and the guy said, oh, you can just have it. So like things like this, this is all, this all come from the house really, nothing's been bought to yeah. go in here. So it's just all, yeah, just stuff we already had. So this is our door to the cab area. So we can look off the cab area at night, have a separate door, so we're totally away from that. And therefore even more stealth mode because we've got blinds in and no one knows we're there and then we open that and on the inside we've got a bookcase and then here's our wardrobe basically so in this side here we've got all our clothes solar panel for the eco flow we got we've got a gas box which holds a seven kilogram gas bottle yeah it's just basically um, storage storage and, and yeah and we've got the electric systems in here as well yeah Oops. this part here at the moment is a chair again with cushion with lots of storage but in time this will come off and then this will be our log burner and then a little shelf just above the door, side door. Spice rack. A spice rack, because you can't have a van if you haven't got a spice rack, apparently. It's not van life. It's just home on wheels, really. It's an apartment on wheels, as somebody once said. Again, we... We strip wash mainly there with your water. Yeah, so, wet yeah, wipes. Wet wipes, and then showers, like, you know, Fort William has um, a shower. Two pounds yeah. for five minutes, I think, yeah. the shower is there. So we do that a lot. Uh, motorway services have a lot of motor... Um, a lot of showers, yeah, they do. Like that. A diesel heater down there, mm, so it makes it nice and warm. So when you strip wash and stuff, yeah, you don't want to do it when it's cold. That's not fair so, at all. And that's and what storage space got split storage space yeah. up here. That's as what well. our tea towels and yeah, <laughs> yeah. And of course, this is the this is the storage space for the toilet. Yeah, that's our toilet so, in there. Yeah, our toilet's hidden away in there with like a which is just a bucket, bucket, which is a bucket yeah, and bags. It's a bucket. 
and we have a foldable bucket. But basically our water, all we have, apart from flask, we have uh, 25 litres of water here and we have a 10 litre which is for our wastewater at the moment. We also have another 25 litres which unfortunately is leaking which is in the front which we, we swap them over. Carry about 50 okay. litres of water with us at all times. Yeah there's no right way or wrong way to do it just yeah do what you feel exactly okay. but yeah we're really proud that every we've done this ourselves and we had no experience either we just youtube winged it steve is a well, maintenance I'm a sort manager of builder, so, maintenance he knows, person, yeah. so i know stuff but so he knows stuff and we just did it and got on with it really yeah i think this is our time now we've worked all our adult life we've brought children up and they're adults now and it, it's it's our time now you could go out tomorrow and get run over you could have a heart attack you could do something which not extreme as that you might break your leg or hip and so then you can't really do the adventure really you can kind of drive somewhere and go out it looks lovely should yeah. we walk up this hill no can't do it when we were putting money by weren't we preparing to go full time you'd have a really shit day at work or something and i said to you many a time i'll go now sod it we'll, we'll we'll make it work i'll go now let's just do there's it. many texts you used to get off me going i don't think i'm gonna last for the day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i could do it so the future for us at the moment we have absolutely no plans of what we're doing or where we go but so, i do know i'm not going back to that no life. we can't go back to that Never. being pushed down again and miserable we have talked about if we get to a certain point where health reasons or anything we can't do living in a van anymore we will always have a fan to go off and do back to the weekend warrior sort of situation. But it'll be some still very alternate lifestyle. Yeah. So wherever it is, like a in hut the somewhere of the wood. or something, it's never going to be Grown our back own to a town with a flat and no. that. It's never going to be that. It'll it, be some alternative life. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We are the Non Lost Souls. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the and usual. all the usual things. And, and we also have a shop. We do. It's a pagan witchy related store that we make crafty things as we go along. And um, you can find that as Sacred Dragonfly. And that's on Facebook and eBay. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And just briefly, safe travels. In one sentence, <laughs> where did Non Lost Souls come from? Oh, oh don't this is again quiet. This is again quiet. <laughs> you say right. okay so non lost souls came from we were both a bit lost and we're both lost souls but then it's we found idea. each other and now we're not lost mm -hmm. so it's non lost the souls. non lost souls isn't that cute love it, love it. he's a softy <laughs> bastard no, <I'm> softy, <laughs> he is Alright guys, thanks again for tuning in there and the big thanks to Billy and Steve for sharing the story with us and showing us around. Make sure to check them out on all the socials, the links will all be down below and let us know in the comments what you think and if you want to support the channel make sure you give us a like and a sub. See you in the next one.